I was able to make several contacts today using the transceiver board here and uh, what I did was I connected the board to my PC and I was able to make contacts using FT8 mode on uh, uh, several of the bands and uh, what I'd like to do is just uh, discuss how I interfaced the transceiver to my PC so first I've got an interface box here which uh, connects to my PC and it's uh, built to uh, connect to my ICOM radio but I was able to adapt a cable I created a cable which plugs in the back here to carry the uh, mic audio speaker audio push to talk as well as it supplies power uh, to power the radio portion of this interface box because what I have I have the box split in half and I've got a radio portion and I've got a PC portion and I've got transformers to connect across between the two and I've got opto isolators as well so that way the grounds are isolated and I avoid getting uh, ground loops so I've got uh, two uh, pots here to control the gain the level of uh, the audio going to and from uh, the PC sound card to the tr uh, transceiver so here I've got the um, output of the speaker of the PC connected to the input to the mic here and here I've got power and ground uh, feeding back to the uh, interface box then I have got the uh, output, the AF output from the transceiver going back to the mic of the the mic port of the uh, PC and I've got that connected uh, before the pot here that controls the volume so this is getting a constant uh, level which is not impacted by me adjusting the volume so it's kinda like the line out from the uh, uh, 612's uh, transceiver board to set this up what I had to do was I had to go into the uh, WSJTX software and uh, put it into CQ mode let it uh, generate CQ so it would key my uh, transceiver and it would be putting out an audio signal which is going into the mic and then I I had the output of the uh, radio the output from the power amp going to my spectrum analyzer and so I adjusted the mic gain as well as the gain on the on the on uh, the interface box to get the cleanest signal on the spectrum analyzer so to make sure I didn't I wasn't generating any spurious uh, output and I wasn't generating any splatter so I, was, I had to fiddle around with that a bit uh, to get that done and then on the receive side it was fairly straightforward all I had to do was just adjust the gain uh, on the preamp here so I got the appropriate uh, uh, level uh, within WSJT uh, so it was able to decode the signal and so for each band I would just simply change the bandpass filters change the low pass filter and uh, I would try and make a contact uh, on the various bands so I was able to make a contact on on 40 meters 30 meters 20 meters and 80 meters I was not able to do it on 60 meters because uh, there is no FT8 frequency for um, no watering hole FT8 watering hole for um, uh, 60 meters contact FT8 
second contact, FT8, 30 meters. Third contact, 20 meters, FT8. Fourth contact, 20 meters, FT8. Fifth contact, 80 meters, FT8. Fifth contact, 80 meters, FT8. 